Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And welcome to my online class. We are going to be making some out of this world fun fold cards today. They are double point cards, really easy but fun cards to make. They have a fun flap fold that I think you're really gonna enjoy uh, when you get started with it. And uh, I am live this morning. It is Saturday morning. And the reason why I'm on Saturday morning is because it's my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's blog hop. So that's always exciting when it's blog hop day. Um, that means multiple things. It means it's a super bonus for you. It means that one, we have a blog hop giveaway for you. And when you pop on over to my blog at stampwithtammy.com, you can take that tour. And great news, um, if you click on the link in this video's description, it will take you right there. No need to even hunt and peck. It's I try to make it easy for you. So you might be watching on Facebook, we might be watching on YouTube, or you might even be watching on Twitter. You might be watching the replay on Pinterest or someplace else. No matter where you are, there should be a link in this video's description that brings you directly to this page. You're gonna find a lot of things on this page and I'll talk about the rest of them later, but the most important thing I wanna tell you is that's where you're gonna find today's giveaway. My giveaways are always free to enter, but there are different ways and forms of entry and today's form of entry is a blog hop comment. All you need to do is comment on my blog and you'll be automatically entered to win the Stampin' Up! Confetti birthday card kit, which is a pretty awesome kit. And um, we give away uh, something new every month as part of our blog hop and you are going to um, be automatically entered and that also means that there's a winner and it could be you from the last month. So go ahead and check that and you uh, may be you may be a winner already. <laughs> All right, Tony, happy birthday. It's her birthday and she is getting it. I, she's getting ready for creativity now. For those of you who are Stampin' Up! demonstrators, you know what this is. For those of you who aren't, I'll give you a little backup because I feel like this video is like a little warm up to the big show. Stampin' Up! is doing a huge online uh, event today. It's happening, I believe, in two hours. It starts um, at noon mountain time and we're all very excited for it and everybody's ready so I know you guys are all getting geared up so I feel like I'm giving you just a little bit of creative juice warm up before the big show. So I hope you I hope you enjoy it and for those of you who aren't demonstrators yet but want to be a part of all of the fun and the events definitely check out the demonstrator kit deal. It's happening right now you get $56 free. Um, it's normally $26 free. It's like you get $125 then you pay $99 and get free shipping on the kit. But during the month of June, you get a bonus $30 and you get to be a part of our Stamp It group. You get to be a part of things like Creativity Now and all the other events. And the beautiful thing about Creativity Now is it is a cyber event. It's happening online. So it's also, um, it's, it's available to everyone. And I'm sorry, I am out of whack today. All right, it's early. <laughs> so... I'm going to be sharing how to make double point fun fold cards today and the, I have an entire series. It's one of those things, you know, once you get started, you have so much fun and you just keep on rolling with it. I know I do. And then I just get addicted to it. And so I have a ton to share. I'm going to share how easy the fold is. I'm going to share how to do it. We are going to be playing with the La Shops um, suite today. So it's a Let's Go Shopping stamp set and dies. And I'm going to share how to make these are the cards that we're going to make live see this look there's two little points it opens up right super super easy super super i know it looks like it should be complicated but it really is easy so that's one and this is not this is the actual one we'll make today they're all they're all done the same way just different designs and then i have a ton to share with you at the end so awesome beanie i love that you love the lives and that you learn a lot from them i hope that i teach you a lot today <laughs> we're hoping for a good event today all right so this is what I'm going to be making, and I was inspired um, back in March. I went up to Salt Lake City to the home office in Riverton, and uh, there was a, a celebration for all of the demonstrators that had hit a million dollar milestone in the last year, and so they had a big celebration there, and we, amongst us, did a fun fold swap. So this was Karen Barber's swap, and I this is from March, so obviously some of these... Um, Supplies have been, like the designer paper on this one has been retired, but the stamp set was the Dainty Delight, and then it used, this is the um, Sentimental uh, Park dies, which was a beautiful little addition. So I have um, photos of Karen's card on my blog too, so you can kind of see this idea. So I went with this idea that she, she did for that card, and I, <laughs> I went and made a whole, whole bunch more. So let me tell you a little bit about the suite that we're going to be playing with. And then, um, then we're going to get started. 
and that way you guys are uh you guys while you're popping on here you guys can you know you're not going to miss anything i know some of you it takes a few minutes before you get the notifications okay so this is the suite it's called la shops this is the name of the suite it's in the annual catalog this is the page that it's on it's pages 30 and 31 and so it's the stamp set the the dies the designer paper and then these silver the silver sweet ones the sequins they're part of this they're part of the suite but the suite is actually can be purchased together you save a little bit when you do that but it also can be purchased by itself like you can purchase the stamp set or the dies or just the paper so paper let's talk about paper right now it's a, it's a good time to talk about paper you know why because in addition to that demonstrator kit special that's happening right now there is a paper sale happening right now and it's pretty damn awesome so you get 15 percent off all of the regular designer series papers and that's only until the end of the month and this particular fold that i'm sharing today is perfect for designer series papers and i'll share what i mean by that um, as we get going it just it displays them really pretty so this pack that i'm just going to share the the double-sided 12 by 12 pack is the Le shops uh, designer series paper and you'll see i actually used the paper i cut out this shop their little shops all the, the designer papers little shops i cut it out to create the focal point on this card and then used the backgrounds which are patterns for the rest of the the um card fold and like here this one actually goes really nicely with that countryside in. it's the right colors for that one so i used that for the the points the arrow points and then this this one each shop page has different themes like this is kind of like a, a bookshop theme and there's a sweet shop theme and there's each one has different stuff and it's really cool so this one i used it's kind of like a i'd say like a, a knickknack shop for uh the focal point on the on the uh pink card so that is the um uh, oops okay so, no that's the back of that so that's the designer series paper and then i used the stripes there so you guys can kind of see they they're really fun papers and i hadn't you know when you get a lot of new stuff it's hard to know where to start when you start uh when you start doing your um project so this one i hadn't actually got a chance to start playing with that the suite yet so this was my first time playing with it and boy I really, you know, I'd seen it, we, we did a reveal on it, but I really hadn't started to play with it, so I really didn't know how awesome these, these projects are, and I think the products in it, I think you're really going to love it. Like, this one's a sweet theme, and then this one is, like, a knick-knack theme, but it could be anything, and the occasions that you can do for these are, could be for any occasion. All right, so I'm going to get started, but before I do, one more little reminder is that I have a free PDF for you. If you're popping on now and you missed my, my little uh, PSA, my public service announcement at the beginning of the video, there is um, a link. No matter where you're watching, what, what social media platform you're watching, Replay Live, doesn't matter. There's a link in that video description and it will bring you directly to the page that has all of these resources. It has the blog hop, it has the giveaway, it has this free PDF, and it has the info on everything else that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. It's, I call that the easy button. If you can't find the easy button, it's not so easy anymore, is it? <laughs> but if you can't find it, you can go to stampwithtammywithanai.com and click the video section and you'll find it there too. So there is um, resources there and that, that PDF is gonna have the dimensions for what I'm doing. And I even put a little, I printed mine off for a little cheat sheet, but I even put a, just a, a little template here for the arrows. You, you, you don't really need it for the rest of the card. You don't really need it for the arrows, but I thought sometimes, I know most of us are visual learners, right? You're watching a video because you're a visual learner and you wanna, it, it's easier to see it than for me to describe it to you, right? So that sometimes I think while you're watching the video, looking at that makes sense. To me it does at least when you're looking at that little diagram. Okay, so uh, question, can the card stand for display? This is, um, it's a point fold. So no, this one wouldn't, it, this particular style that I've created on this, this one doesn't have a stand, but if you would like it to, all you need to do is put a full card base instead of just the um, postcard style base here. So you can make it be a standable card if you would like it to be, but my particular one isn't. So that's totally up to you. That's what you're looking for. We can make adjustments for anything, right? Okay, so 
First thing I'm taking here is some of the designer series paper from the pack that I just shared. This is the Le Shops designer series paper. I'm using this pattern and as I mentioned, it goes really nicely with that uh, countryside in designer series paper too, because it, it's kind of the same pattern. So this is a three by four piece of paper. I'm gonna put it on the short side, so that's the three inch side. I'm putting it in at one inch and I'm gonna score. I've got two pieces because we want one, this is going to make the arrows, we want one for the top and we want one for the bottom. All right, so just so you guys can see the little fold there. And then I'm going to need my pen back that I so neatly put away. I thought I was being so efficient. So on the four inch side, I'm going to put a little tick mark on the back. I, you can mark on the back because you're not going to see the back in the card. If you mark on the front, you'll see it. So on the back side that I'm not using, the part, the, the paper that I'm hiding, it's always the sad part, right? I'm gonna put a tick mark at the two inch mark. And then we're gonna pop that right back in. Using the scoring blade, I'm gonna put on this grid, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see the, 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 the see the, the, this is the little runner right here that the blade runs down. I'm gonna line up the tick mark and one corner of the, the fold, so right where that score line is. Put that in and score. And then I'm gonna turn it, leaving the tick mark in the middle to the other um, other edge of the score line, and we're gonna, we're gonna fold in there. So then we've got, oops, sorry, that was, <laughs> I forgot I was zoomed in there. But so that way, when we fold that in, we've got our arrow, and then we've got a little lip to attach to the card. It really is easy, and again, I do have that little diagram there to help you when you're when you're making yours, but you can always refer back to the video. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with the with the second piece. So we need one for the top and one for the bottom. So line up tick mark to the score line on either end. Oh, it's great to see so many of you on a Saturday morning. Thanks for joining me live, and thanks for joining the replay if you're watching later. It is great for all of you. But when you're watching live. You know, I can, I can, I can help with answer the questions. If you're watching the replay, still, if you have questions, ask them, and I can, I do go back and check them, and I can uh, respond to you later. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these with some seal adhesive. So I'm gonna attach the flaps down, and so I'm putting the adhesive on the back side of the flap there. So we've got our point, point number one. And point number two and if, for those of you who are new to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button tell them tell Facebook and YouTube that you love it and you want to see more I really appreciate it, it means the world to me and it means that you get to see more crafting more crafting more inspiration I hope more inspiration I, I do free videos every week so free classes I like to, I love being able to share what I love and so Sometimes when you when I do this, I have a little bit of overhang and I don't know how easy that is to see. But I want to make sure that my score, I'm going to get out my bone folder. I want to make sure that my score, because I was using my hands, is on the scoring line and mine wasn't. It was a little below because there was a little bit of overhang. So just make sure you get that good and tight. I was trying to cheat and go a little quickly. But I really should have pulled the bone folder out. So there you go. All right, now I'm going to back back out again. <laughs> no, I know I get a lot of complaints if I stay too close, so let's back back out so you guys can. Not complaints. Nobody ever complains. They just get a little dizzy. You know what I'm saying. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is attach these. So I've cut a piece of that, another piece of that designer series paper. Look at this. is so cute. I always feel bad for the side I'm not going to be displaying. It makes me feel sad. So this little, this is the lip that we're going to use to attach. I'm just going to line that, put it some seal or seal plus, whatever, underneath and attach. And I'm gonna do the same with, so one's gonna go on the top, one's gonna go on the bottom. And make sure, like this one, because I have a little a bit of overhang. Come up, come up. Make sure that it goes right up against the actual score line. So you can see I've got a tiny little bit of overhang here. I'm just going to trim that. All right. All right. 
So that's our main piece. Again, told you it was easy, right? That was super easy. And then this just attached to a card base. Now, I did mention earlier, there was a question about whether this is a freestanding card. How I am done, how I did the card base, it, it isn't. But all you need to do to make it a freestanding card, if, that, if that's what you want, is to use a regular size card base. Do your eight and a half by five and a half and fold it in half and attach this to the front of that. So you kind of have a double, a double flap opening. But, or do 11 by four and a quarter and fold that in half and that way you'll have a portrait opening. However you want to do it. But in my case, I'm just doing this as a, um, I'm doing the front flap as the opening. So mine is going to be a different displayable card. I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the card base. Okay, so I want my buildings to stand the right way. So we're going to do it this way. Although both, both sides are the same until we actually attach stuff to it. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to attach the, the rest of it and then we'll decorate it. So we'll finish the card base and then we'll decorate it. So you're going to want, and this is on that PDF, I have all the measurements here for you. So this is just, um, it's a piece that I'm going to put on the front and it's four by two and a half. And then I've got a little, um, but the frame is four by two and a half, the mat, and then I have some balmy blue inside. And I did emboss that inside with the uh, exposed brick folder just to add a little something. You don't have to do that part, but I thought it added a little special touch, especially where we're doing buildings and kind of fun. So then I'm just gonna line that up and put it right in the center. I only put adhesive on the very, very top there where it's not gonna overhang and stick. And then we're gonna do the same with the inside. So the inside, I have the same size piece here. It's four by two and a half. For the mat, I did misty moonlight on the on the inside, and I'm doing. I used night of navy for the front just so it would pop a little bit more because there was a lot of uh, misty moonlight in the background, and I thought if I did misty moonlight, it kind of blended in, and I wanted it to pop. So that's why I used the two different colors on this one, but most of them I did the same color on the inside and outside. Totally perfect personal preference though, and I when I start to show you guys the rest of the the projects I've made, I am dying to hear which one is your favorites. I want to know which ones you guys love the best. Now, I put some adhesive on that bottom piece. I threw it in there, right? But I'm not pressing down until I have it lined up perfectly. So I'm just going to push it around a little on the underneath until it lines up perfectly underneath this. So it's hidden when the card is closed. So the card would be closed and then you don't see it. And then boom, you open it. You've got your little double points. Now, the, the next most important part is the, the piece that's going to hold it closed. And if you don't put this part in, the card is still awesome, but it flaps open like this. And that bugged me. I was like, I want it closed. I want it to, I want it to stay closed when it's closed. I want it to stay open when it's open. You know what I'm saying? So I took another little piece and I do have the, the dimensions for this. It's just a quarter of an inch smaller than um, the main piece. Put some dimensionals on the back. These are the special touches that just make it make it extra special. That's the little things, right? So I just line that up with the back. So it's just a quarter of an inch smaller, so it doesn't overhang and you don't really see it from the front, but it gives you this little flap. So I only put dimensionals on the top, maybe two thirds. So I left the bottom bit so that you can open it and tuck. So it stays closed when it's closed. And if like right now that's giving me a little bit more pop than I want it to, add another dimensional. Like if it's, if it's still not closing enough, like mine is just add another dimensional down there Wait, where, where it's not going to be in the way and it's not going to actually stick to anything and that will keep it. See, now it's, now it's closed. Boom. Right? Hidden. There you go. Boom. And then tuck it right back in again and we're good to go. So that's my little secret, secret for enclosing it. Okay, so uh, I showed this back at the beginning. I'm gonna just re-show it now and I'm gonna remind you guys that there is a paper sale happening until the end of the month. This is the designer series paper I used and I used this for the, not just the background, but I cut these shops out for the focal point because I really liked them. I thought they were a lot of fun. So I went ahead and pre-cut out our little shop here. So this is gonna go right on the front and I just put it right in the middle there and I used just some dimensionals to attach it. Cause I, I, I wanted it to be puffy. I mean, if you want, if you're mailing it and you want it to be flatter, you might want to think about that flap enclosure. Maybe you do it flat, maybe you leave it without the flap enclosure. 
Um, if you don't want to pay the extra to mail it, I know that's a big thing when, when I do projects. <laughs> that's the first question I get. Can I mail it? Well, yes, you can mail anything you want. It's how you mail it, right? So if you want it to go in a, without extra postage, you probably don't want all the puff. But if you are hand gifting, putting it in a box, or don't, you know, want to pay the extra because you want the wow, pop it up. <laughs> pop it up. All right, so I took the stamp set and I stamped the You Are Such a Sweet Treat because I was going with the sweets. I took the, the shop that was the sweet theme and I cut the die from the Stylish Shapes die. So that's a kind of a staple, that die set. And I'm popping that up too. So I go ahead and put that down there. It's a little special something something. I almost feel like you want to give a goodie with this. You could even make like a little treat box. I shared a... I shared a quick and easy treat box this week on my blog and there was a video short for it. You guys can go back to the video and watch it. You could make a matching little box to go with this and give them a little sweet treat. So kind of goes with the theme. And then we went ahead and cut out. These are from the dies. So let's go shopping dies. So I cut out the vines. I cut them from Granny Apple Green and I cut them from Petal Pink. And then this piece right here, which has fallen off of my sheet. There we go. And that's kind of like the archway, right? So the other trick when I did this was I took an adhesive sheet. And I don't think I have one handy where I am. Um, but we sell adhesive sheets and you stick it to the cardstock before you cut small little pieces like this. And then you cut it and the hair just wants to be in the video. It does not want to go away. I'm shedding. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's just going to be a special piece of DNA that goes with the card. I don't know. Somebody's going to love that little extra piece. All right. So what that did was when I cut this with the dye from the Granny Apple Green, it made it a sticker. So when you have these tiny little um, die cuts, it's a, it's a great tip to, to do that ahead of time. So it makes it really easy to attach and you don't have to worry about getting uh, your your glue everywhere or getting seal um, I know seal adhesive show through I call it panty lines when you can see the adhesive and it just it, it doesn't it, it it doesn't have the finished look that you're you want to you want to get when you do something extra special like this right so that's my tip there use adhesive sheets before cutting small pieces so now I'm going to take the vine and I'm going to line it up kind of right on there Ooh, we're going with granny apple first Exactly, Laurel, adding that very special touch. All right, and boo, 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 boo. I'm gonna put that right down the side. Probably I could have done it before I put the words down, but whatever, it's all good. And then I'm gonna do the same with the petal pink that I cut. So it's kind of like a double layer. We've got some pretty like Pink on top of the green. I'm gonna make sure the green shows through underneath there. It's not it's not lined up perfectly so that I can see both that you know adds a little dimension, you can see both colors. And then if I get the backing off this one, I'm gonna show you the final touch. Yes! Woo! Alright. It's not quite as bad as like doing sticky strip live, getting the back of the adhesive sheet off, but it's up there. Okay, actually, you know what? There's one more little thing. One of the pages of the designer series paper has all of this yummy food on it, right? It's, I'm hungry just looking at it. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, and I'm like, man, I, 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 I could have any of this for breakfast. But I cut out some ice cream cones. And we're gonna go ahead and add those because it's a sweet shop. See all the sweets in the window there? We've got little ice creams and candies and all the sweets that go along with it. I thought the ice cream just added a little special touch for that. So I'm gonna put these guys on the inside. So we got a little sweet, little sweet surprise on the inside. Now we're going, now we're going for the bling. All right, so actually I'll leave that open. I did do a little special something on the inside. So I wanted the ice creams to have like a little cherry on top. I know they're cones, but still. So I took, these are glossy dots. Boop. There you go, Insta Cherry for your, for your ice creams, right? And they're super cute. And then on the front of the card, these are um, ombre dots. And they, they, they match both the pink and the green. So I used a little bit of both in the, 
in the vines. So I added just a couple of green, some of the smaller green dots. And they're ombre, so you've got a couple different colors to choose from, and I kind of liked that. There were multiple colors. And then added some of the, I believe it's Calypso Coral is the ombre color, but I'm gonna use it with the petal pink and it kind of just adds a little special touch there. And one more thing I did do is I took one of these glossy dots, a little one, little blue one, and added it for a door handle. We gotta open the door to the sweet shop, right? You gotta be able to get in. This would definitely make a great gift card holder. Definitely would, right? You could you could either use the gift card actually as part of the flap or you could put it right on the inside. Absolutely, that would be a great idea. And so the card is complete. So this was the Le Shop Suite with the Let's Go Shopping stamp set and die and the Le Shop's designer series paper series. And on this one, I cut this little guy out of the designer series paper too. Although there is a stamp, you could cut, you could stamp and color that in, but I liked it. And then I added little butterflies to the background, the brass butterflies to the background of that one. All right, so that's how you make them. Again, free PDF on my blog, don't bounce because <laughs> I got a lot more to share. All right, but the, so first to share how to make them and if you're popping in late, be sure to go back and catch the, the beginning after because it's really easy, it's really fun, and again, you'll want this free PDF because it has the dimensions for you. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you is the, um, the Welcome In Paper Pumpkin. This is the June Paper Pumpkin. Have you got yours yet? Mine just came a couple of days ago. Super excited that as soon as it comes, I drop everything and start playing, right? So these are the cards that came with the kit, like right from the instructions. So then I was like, well, since I'm making these double point cards, right? And I've got two in one, right? I've got my paper pumpkin kit. So I went ahead and started uh, making the same fold out of the, the supplies in the paper pumpkin kit. So I took, this was the background of a card. I used the countryside dies here. And these are like some of the printed backgrounds. So that's one alternate project there for the paper pumpkin kit. There is another one around, but I might be able to come back to it. So anyway, stay tuned. So I'll have instructions for all that I'm showing. I will have instructions for coming up on my blog over the next week. Um, okay, so next, I used the next, next, <laughs> did I say next enough there? Next destination stamp set, which I've been really wanting to play with this one. And I feel like with summer, this is great summer themed and summer is the theme of our blog hop today. So this was, I was really, you know, like had that on my brain. So I went ahead and I did the little hat box suitcase there. And the background designer series paper I used on these is the Earth and Elegance designer series paper. I don't know if you guys have seen that one yet, but look at, does this not look like denim? Super fun, right? And I love how the, um, the, the artwork just pops. I use the Stampin' Blends to color them in. I will have the instructions for those as well coming up, but I just, I love how they pop. So that is using the Earth and Elegance designer series paper, and that is another sweet, and it's also, also, as with the other ones, it's on sale till the end of the month. I know, right? I'm like, but this, this just goes so well with designer series paper, this fold, but look at how fun these patterns are. So you can see, if I just show the cards underneath, I use these two patterns for this one. I loved this. This was like a, um, pretty peacock is that the, it just I love it I love the color I love the pattern and then for this one I used the uh, navies look at this with the mauve so pretty we've got ombre so this was one and then did I already go there we go on the front so these are the two I used for this card so that's earth and elegance again on sale till the end of the month that design is just paper more coming all right so that's next destination and then I was still you know thinking fun in my head because I mean always fun right these are from the zany zoo the zany zoo uh stamp set and the it's the zoo crew the zoo crew super cute right collection so then we've got little alligator and so the the designer series paper here um one side has these cute little critters I cut all the critters out of the designer series paper and the other side has these black and white patterned designs. So again, this so this guy was black and white on the paper. I'll show it to you in a second. And I colored him 
with the Stampin' Blends, and then I even cut the trees out of the paper, and I cut that little dude on the inside, and then the background. So the Zoo Crew paper, super fun. This is one that, that I played with. In fact, I'll show you a couple more things that I had made previously, in case you missed them. This is the Zoo Crew paper. See all the cute little, cute little dudes, and each pattern of the paper has different little different little themes so this one was dance this one is like party stuff we've got balloons and, and streamers and this one's like tra you know toys transportation like bicycle scooter skateboard unicycle this is the little alligator i cut out and then on the back we've got black and white patterns so that kind of all goes together and this one's kind of like we've got we've got artwork and crafts and different different animals doing different things in this one so this is where i was going with the summer theme this one was all like camping, th you know, things or, or vacation things. We've got, so there's the lion. Remember I said the lion was black and white. So I colored him with the Stampin' Blood markers. So he could be any color I wanted, but I, I colored him to match the card. And um, then the rest of it, I cut even the trees out. And then on the inside, I put this little guy. So super cute. And then this is musical. So all the guys on this page are musical themed. And that is the... Zoo Crew. Zoo Crew. It's fun to say. And they're fun cards. And as, a pro as promised, oh my God, I have so many things to share today. I love, I love, I love sharing stuff. Okay, so those are the, these two are the double points. These I've shared previously from the Zoo Crew. So this is just some more ideas that I used with it. This was an accordion. I do have instructions for these already on the blog. And then this one, this one I had done, or this was another uh, series of fun folds that I had done. It's the angled joy fold using the little critters on there with the, the themes. So you can see how fun that paper is to play with. So that's double double point fold there for Zoo Crew. Aw, thanks you guys. Glad you're loving it. All right, so next up. Okay, I want to hear from you guys what your favorites are. I'm going to tell you. I think this one might be mine. I don't know. It's really hard to pick. It really is hard to pick. But this is from the Stargazing Suite, which I am in love with the Designer Series paper in the suite. I love the space. I love the stars, the sky, the patterns. I love everything about it. So I took and actually cut the planets out of the Designer Series paper too. So this is from, this is the uh, Reach for the Stars stamp set and uh, dies. And the planets are actually from the paper. And there's actually little things in here. You can cut the planets out. And you may remember, I, I posted this last week. This was an alternate from my last month's Paper Pumpkin Kit where we had the mountains and I turned the mountains into space rocks and put the put the astronaut on there. So that's just another idea that I had done with that suite. But I got to show you the paper because I love, love, love it so much. So, and I feel like you're going to be seeing me use it a lot. <laughs> because... You know, there's some things you just gravitate towards, and this, for me, was one of those. So this is the paper, and it's all different themes. Let me see. I'll zoom out a little so you can kind of see the cards and the paper together. All right. So, oh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, this, like, you know, so we've got different colors of backgrounds for your, your skies on one side. So they're going to match your projects. And then on the other side, we've got, like, we've got the Milky Way, the sky, the night sky, the galaxy, the... So, and then on the back side, we've got some colors to go with it. Here we've got multiple colors in your, your galaxy. And then we've got some patterns. So you can see I used on the background of this one was the, um, was the, it was like a um, berry burst. I almost called it Rich Razzleberry, but it was more of a berry burst. And then I, I, pat, I paired it with this. But then on the background of a couple of the, um, a couple of the pages, you have planets. And I was like, oh, <laughs> no fair choosing a favorite. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I took and I cut out the planet here to match. And then I did the same with this guy. I used the green on the background. And then there was different colored planets on this page. So I, I cut out the green planet and then embossed the words on the front. So this is stargazing. Again, this paper's on sale too to the end of the month. Just turn it out there. It's time to stock up. I, I'm not, not kidding when I said I got like three packs of this. I love it that much. 
All right, so that is from the Stargazing, and the stamp set is Reach for the Stars, which makes me think of Buzz Lightyear. I don't know about you guys, but I always want to be like, Reach for the Stars. Ah, oh, Toy Story is such a cute movie. Okay, moving on. Next up is the, uh, this is the Fresh as a Daisy Suite, and the Cheerful Daisies uh, stamp set. So Cheerful Daisies stamp set, and the, I'm sorry, my dye is all messed up there, so it's really hard to see them, but. Trust me, these are the dies from the set, and I used the backgrounds of the paper here for this one. This one I didn't even put an inside in uh, because I wanted, I just wanted to show off this paper so much that I just kind of left it plain on the inside. And I used the dies on the front, and then here I cut this out of the paper. And all of all of these patterns came from the Fresh as a Daisy paper and I'll show you that paper really quick too. Oh, actually I won't. I don't think I brought that one down. But I do have other samples that I, I used it for. So for example this paper that I used on the background here I also used and I have instructions for this. It was a it was a slim card one sheet wonder that I did with that that piece like all, all of these cards actually five cards I created with the one piece of, of this designer series paper because I just loved how they came out. Here I used the the dies and the rest of them were all pieces. So that's that pattern from the paper and then I've got an accordion fold again instructions for all of these um, bonuses on top of bonuses are already on my blog this is the the pattern that I used here is this pattern here for the accordion fold card and then I did um, there's one uh, I wish I brought that I'm sorry I didn't bring the paper there's one piece of paper in the fresh as a daisy collection that is like all different like you can cut it up and make a bunch of different cards out of it and so I did a quick card um, class just making these are all pieces from one piece right so I cut them all up and did quick cards from it and that's where this background pattern came from that piece so it was that same pattern so that was all from the fresh as a daisy collects collection and then daisies I could go on for all days with I could go on for all daisies all daisies with the daisies. Love them. But I've got more to share. <laughs> are you guys inspired yet? Are you feeling, for those of you who are doing creativity now, the, the Stamp It Up event later for the demonstrators, I hope that you're getting, your juices are getting uh, getting warmed up with these. Uh, I promised that I, I, somewhere along my line, I would find the second um, paper pumpkin alternate that I made for the double point. This is it. It was in the middle of the other cards. So this is from this month's June Paper Pumpkin Kit. It's the Welcome In Kit. And it matches the um, Countryside in uh, Suite, which is kind of cool, right? I love it when they do that because I feel like there's... I feel like you get a lot more bang for your buck when you do that. And uh, But wait, there's more, right, Courtney? <laughs> okay, moving on. So next up, these two... I made with current bundles, but the brand new One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper for the background. <laughs> I mean, you got the juices, just not enough time. <laughs> All right, overwhelming you, Paula. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I will, and I promise I will. I will do these. I'll roll them out a little bit more slowly when I do the tutorials on my blog, so uh, you guys can kind of enjoy each one slowly. So I want to share that paper if I can find where I put it because it is coming out, here we go. Actually, before I do the paper, let me share. I did two different bundles on here. I did the Lighting the Way bundle for this one. I was thinking summer, because that was the theme, and this one is, this one's more of a sympathy card, I think, but this one, I'm sorry, my die set's all messed up, but it's got that cool lantern in it, and the lantern I made out of the iridescent specialty paper, so it really, like, jumps out at you. What do you think of the flames in there? Right? You don't want to know where those came from? Anyone? Anyone? Huh? They came from the ready to ride, from the motorcycle set, from the ready to ride stamp set. Yeah, from the dies. So funny, right? Who would have thought to put those two together? But I saw the flame and I was like, oh, perfect. The, the um, pieces here, the die pieces here came from the lazy days. So the, the little awning here and the little railing. So it looks like you're looking out at a, a scene that was from the designer paper and even the little... The bird and the words came from the, actually the words made it come from a different set, but the, the bird came from that. So this, here's the inside, I even put the little rocking chair in there. 
And I did something a little different with a couple of these. The first ones I made. So the one I shared when I made it, I made the um, piece that you tuck your, your point into in the back smaller so that you couldn't see it. On my first couple that I made, I did it the opposite. I made that piece larger. But when, when I did that, it hides the mat underneath. So see, and the new ones that I made, the newer ones I made, you can see the mat and this one. I don't know if you can kind of see that. And this one, the mat gets hidden on the bottom. And I don't know that that matters at all. But there was just two different ways of doing it. And then here's the inside of this one. I used the, the little lightning bugs on the inside because we were going with uh, going with summer. So this one, this one I, okay, so this, that's black. Black is so hard to see on the, on the video. But can you see there on the angle? This inside is smaller. So it doesn't show from the front. And this inside is larger and it was made to show from the front. So that, that, that Knight of Navy right there was made to show from the front, whereas you can't see the, uh, the clasp that holds it closed on this one. So there are two ways to do it. I will share the measurements when I do the instructions on both of them. Okay. So now let's talk about the paper on this one. Okay. So those are the, those are the stamp sets and die sets I used to make these. But the paper, I love this paper so much. The paper is brand new. This is coming out July 6th. This is One Horse Open Sleigh, it's called. It's from a new suite that's coming out in the online exclusives called One Horse Open Sleighs. And demonstrators can get this now. Customers can get it July 6th. Um, and also, I will be running a, um, a kit on Monday. I, I'll show you the kit projects in a minute too. But Monday, a special offer on the entire suite coming Monday. Um, so stay tuned to my blog for that because I, I always I always get a lot of requests for those when I do them. But it's a it'll be a special offer on the suite that comes with a free class and it's a free home decor. It is never too early to start. You're thinking about the holiday stuff, right? It's gonna be Christmas in July. Plus we're gonna be hot in July, so it'll be nice to work on cool projects. Nice to work on the summer projects, and maybe we should do summer in December. You know, Christmas in July, summer in December. So this is the paper. I did I did do a, a video class using this paper. So I do have a few things I'll share that just from the paper as well. But the paper itself, I feel, is like a work of art. I feel like I need, um, I just, I just want to like make uh, cards just with the paper. <laughs> it's just fun paper. So there's patterns and prints on one side. And then there's scenes on the other side. And even though they were meant to be or made to be winter scenes, they don't have to be winter scenes. As you can see in these two cards, I didn't make them winter. In fact, I made this one summer. And I even used, and I'll, sh I'll show you, I went by it really quickly. So like this is the back here. I even used, this is the, the stripes here. I even used a winter like snow scene on this one and you can't even tell. So on this, on the background here, because I liked the, the, the lighted trees, that one came from this piece of paper. It's these trees right here. So, I mean, I think it just looks like, you know, it's light, moonlight on the ground in the background of this paper. But if you were to use it with the, um, this I, the instructions coming for the trip tech tomorrow, by the way, this one, this one. So this is a winter scene. This one I made for a winter scene, right? You could kind of use it for any kind of occasion. But same exact paper, right? Summer theme. That you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So lots of fun. So that's the one horse open sleigh. I do have some other stuff that I created with that. And I have instructions for this already. This was from the class, the Z fold I did in the class for the, the pre-orders. And I made this one too. These two instructions are up already using, see, I love the designer series paper. It's just by itself so pretty. And then this one will be coming up in the next couple of days on my blog. I'll have the instructions for. It's a nice six by six, so a nice big one when you want to put cards in there. And uh, yep, tomorrow, Sue, for that one, for the trip deck. All right, so that leads me to the final thing that I wanted to share today. And I did just give you a sneak peek of the, the kit that I'm dropping on Monday. And I was really bummed in June. I wasn't able to have a kit. So just because of the timing of our trip and, and everything else, it, it was super bummer for me because I love doing these and I get a lot of requests for them. So the July one will be extra special because it's brand new stuff coming out. Um, and it, it will release Monday, even though it's still June, it, it will be a July kit. And if you're in my VIP club, you get an extra 10% off in addition to the 20% off um, that it is. But We'll be making these. These are free. You'll get the, in addition to the 20% off the kit, you'll get a free 
uh, decor frame that we'll be making this this project in, which I love because it's, it's really like a 3D project. And then we'll be doing pop-up cards. So the class, the free class, and this is only available with the kit. I, I, these I don't do separately. Um, but pop-up cards, right? We got a little pop-up A-frame house. I did some different things. So I'll be teaching different ways to do pop-ups here. We've got a pop-up horse and sleigh. And then this one was just a whole pop-up scene, kind of a cool little scene. So this class comes free with that kit. Look for it on Monday. I'm excited about it. And I'm, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the cards today. I hope that you guys got inspired with the, uh, with the, with the fold and loved all the, the different ideas. I really want to hear your favorites. So make sure to drop a comment and let me know which one jumped out at you the most. And I hope for those of you who are um, taking, doing the creativity now with Stampin' Up! after this, uh, I believe it's in a little over an hour. So I know we're all excited for it, right? So hope your juices have gotten started flowing and you are going to be having a lot of fun with that today. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to pop on over to my blog and take that uh, blog hop tour if I can find the info for you. There you go. Use the link in this video's description. Be sure to enter the giveaway because you could win a free confetti, birth confetti birthday card kit just by leaving a comment. You can enter multiple times when you take the blog hop and get inspired with all of the ideas uh, simply by um, leaving a comment on each of the blogs in there. And I will be seeing you guys again next week. Thanks so much for joining me.